channel how's everyone doing today i hope you're doing well it's a beautiful day spring is slowly 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 but surely creeping in and winter is giving in that's the beauty about the seasons right yeah thank you so much for stopping by today please give us a thumbs up i have a story time that i want to do which is like a follow-up on the tone to dk's um issue that we did um just a few days ago and there's been a lot of conversation around this matter between Tonto DK and her ex, Churchill. So I'm going to be giving my opinion about what I think Tonto DK desperately, desperately wants from Churchill. While I sh show you my dressing, I'm about to go out. You can see I've got this um, scarf on my head. I'm dressed up, but I've just got the hair to do. So I've got a hair from Styling Hair. I've worked with this brand before. Their hair is really, really good. So they sent me this box of hair. I'm going to be unveiling it, styling it, and showing you uh, how I combine it with my outfits. Take this scarf off before I head out while I'm doing the story time. Okay? Thank you so much. So Styling Hair is a fashion brand for hair. Stylinghair.com, www.stylinghair.com. They do really, really beautiful hair. Um, I think I've shown you a couple of their hair that they sent me in the past. So this one, I am just going to show you what it looks like. So they put a, a wig cap here that I'm going to be wearing in a minute. And there's lashes as well. This is the hair it comes in this bag. This is a short 12 length, uh, 12 inches uh, bob. So this is what it looks like. So, <laughs> Tonto DK, Tonto DK. Every year, there is drama around the poor boy who didn't ask to be born between Tonto DK and Olakunle Churchill. There's drama. Always there's drama. So this is the week. This one is quite, um, it's short. This is how it comes in the box. It's like this. Is this, is this kind of bob that has this, you see the edges? It's cut really, really short, but just about this size. So it has a, a little lace wig in the front and the inside. Oh my God, this is what I've stepped up. Oh goodness. Now look how they, they sew it. They put the band around it. So the band is all around it. And it comes with this, which you just hook up according to the size of your head. <laughs> I like that. So it stretches. This is an improvement. So it stretches. So even if you have... Mongo pack head. <laughs> you can always just hook it here. So this is really good. Right, I'm going to trim it while I tell you what I think Tonto DK needs. It has this very little lace in the front, so minimal trimming. So every year, there is dragging as sure as, you know, people will almost be putting bets on it now that whenever this poor child is Celebrating his birthday, there will be some kind of drama around it. So, a lot of people have been asking the question since the latest dragon started on social media a few days ago that what does what does Tonto want? What does she actually want from Churchill? Why is it that after seven years, 
of which she created a YouTube channel, documented her marriage to him and everything that happened, still she cannot let go. It appears like she's still hurting and the pain just won't go away. Why? And what does she really want? What does she want? So I've trimmed it now. See, it's just it's just a little, very, very little lace there. Okay. I've got my brush here. This is just my my makeup brush. So I don't put any foundation or anything on it. I just because you know some of the residual um makeup is usually on the brush. So I just take the edge like this because it's kind of whitish. And this has got the color of my skin foundation on it. So I just I just dab it here so that it blends to my skin. What does Tone to DK actually want from Churchill? Is it money? Is it attention? Is it for him to be responsible and for once take care of his child? So these are all the questions that people are asking on social media. And some people are saying, no, it cannot be because Tonto wants Churchill to look after the child. Because when she broke up with her ex, Popo Gris, she was literally saying, if anything happens to me, please don't allow Olakone to come near my son. I don't want him near my son, whether I am living or bafuka. Whether I'm alive or not, I don't want him near my son. So I don't think it's because she wants she wants Olakule to to be in the son's life. That's just my personal opinion, right? Okay. Because I've been thinking about it that why is it that this matter seems to be so raw in total DK's mind every single year? So I'm brushing the wig now, just brushing it, just brushing it. And it's quite simple. This is like one of the easiest thing you can think of. One of the easiest wigs so far is it's just very easy. And I kind of like the fact that it's not complicated. This is the one that I usually, I use this type a lot because I wear it when I'm going to, I can wear it anywhere, basically walk. Like I'm going out now, it's not a uh, walk mode, obviously. I'm all dressed up in a dress. Uh, so yeah, I can see where it's so it's got a band. Can you see this? It has a band so you can move it <laughs> It's like a brass trap. I love that. They did it like a brass trap. So depending on your head size you move it Okay, let me put it on take the scarf off. Even though the scarf kind of look nice. I like this scarf. It goes with the color of my dress Time to wear it time to wear it Time to wear it. Oh my God, this is so simple. Very, very simple. Just adjust. See? It's so, so simple. This is right up my alley, guys, because sometimes, yeah, you just can't be bothered with all the complication that comes with long wigs. So it's just, it's a bob. Shoulder length bob. I'll put it on now. I'll just brush it down. It doesn't really need anything, to be honest. This bulb is just, it's throw on bulb. Just throw it on and go. That's what it is. Throw on. Throw it on and go. Yeah, see? When they say women, our beauty is in our hair. Ladies, if you don't do your hair, whatever kind of hairstyle you prefer, always make sure your hair is beautiful, is washed, clean. If it's wigs, like you favor like me, always make sure you wash your wigs. Make them look nice because our beauty goes straight to our hair. Can you see that? Go see Shatokbo. No much work. It's done. Beautiful. Beautiful. See? It's just a bulb. So easy to wear. I'll take some pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, you see the pictures that I'm going to take. But this is quite a simple one. Very, very simple. And it complements my dress because... It's just sitting on my shoulders. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. You want to get this look. Yeah. And of course, this part, you know the pattern. It's got a pattern here. You can put it on the side. You can put it on the middle. I usually put mine on the side, but I kind of like this one on the front today. It looks nice on the front. So it's from Sterly Hair. If you check my description box, you will get all the details about the hair from SterlyHair.com. So what does Tonto DK want? Why does she keep dragging this matter on every year? Why is it that both of them don't want to let go of this matter. Churchill is not involved in his son's life. Obviously, according to Tonto, he's not doing anything. He's not sending money. He's not looking after the boy. But every birthday, he wants to celebrate the boy 
on social media. And Auntie Tonto cannot wait to give it to him. When I thought about it very critically, yeah, you know, because when we talked about it, we said that is lack of forgiveness. Because even Churchy is saying now on social media, because they've been showing receipts back and forth. I don't know how many of you follow the story. People are really tired of it, to be honest. They've been bringing receipts back and forth. This one will show, this is the money I gave you. This one will show, this is the money you collected from me. It's all a mess. What I think, in my own personal opinion, that Tonto desperately needs from Churchill for her to heal or perhaps move on is an apology. I don't think Churchill ever apologized to her. And some of you might feel like, why does she does he need to apologize for her? Well, even if he doesn't feel like he's wronged her or he's done anything to her, because if you want to look at it critically, they've done things to each other. They said things about each other they probably shouldn't have said, and they've dragged each other online. He can apologize just so that she will get closure and stop dragging him, and especially because of their son. So that brings me to the question, how do you move on from somebody who you feel has caused you pain but will never apologize? How? How do you get closure? How do you move on? Because it's obvious that this lady, Tonto, has not moved on now. She says she's moved on, but I don't see that. If you've moved on, you will not give him so much of your attention and your time. You know, bringing out receipt from 2015, 2016, the money you sent to him. He too is bringing out his receipt, how he paid money, $40,000 for you to go. Oh, my goodness. They need to apologize to one another. But is that going to happen? I doubt very seriously because even the people that should have facilitated whatever, you know, not reconciliation, people that can facilitate some, some kind of, um, you know, um, a meeting between them for the sake of their son to forgive one another, for everybody to move on. They finish, Toto has finished insulting all of them, including Church's mother, which we said it was quite wrong. So, I think Toto needs, what she needs from Church is not money, it's not him even taking the child or caring for the child, spending time with the child, is an apology. But how do you get an apology from somebody who doesn't even believe that they've done anything wrong to you, they've hurt you? What do you do? That's a very big question. Mm -hmm. And the best way, <laughs> the best way that I find that you can do that is for you to accept that behavior. Find a way to accept it. That that forgiveness, or the, the and even as annoying as they are, you're never going to get an apology because they don't even think they've done anything wrong to you. Mm -hmm. So, I researched it a little bit, and this is what I get. The best way is to accept that behavior, annoying as it is, and realize that you are simply, they are simply psychologically incapable of apologizing. So, don't expect any apology. Don't expect that they will ever change. But you can practice acceptance. And by practicing that acceptance, it's not going to be easy, but you can Use that to disengage from arguments with them. Mm -hmm. And this will help you limit your feelings of frustrations, anger, and hurt. I repeat that. Somebody that will never apologize, that don't even know that it hurts you, the way you can disengage from that is for you to accept that you know, behavior, that this is who they are. They will never apologize. So practice acceptance. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of work. So searching, maybe therapy, whatever you need to do. You need to get to a point where you can accept that behavior. Does it mean that you're okay with it? No. Does it mean that you're not still nursing some resentment towards that person? No. But how do you deal with it in a way that it doesn't affect you every year? This thing has been on for seven years. How? You're never going to change. You're never going to get that apology. But you can, you know, practice accepting that annoying behavior. So whatever they do, it's not going to, you're not going to go crazy like that again. You're not going to be reacting to it. And it can help you to limit your feelings of frustration, anger, and hurt. I hope Tonto Dike is able to realize this. And the people in her life are able to, you know, help her, support her to deal with it. To be honest, they both need to apologize to one another because of the way they've dragged. They, they both need to apologize to one another. 
and they both need to apologize to their child. But I don't know if it's ever going to happen. But I think personally, what she desperately needs that Churchy hasn't given her is an apology. Is it going to happen? I don't know. It's not likely. But that's what I have to say. It's just a quick one. I'm on my way out. Just wanted to show you this week. Yeah? From stylyhair.com. Do you like? Do you like? I love it. The thing I like about your hair is that it doesn't shred. It's not too full. And it's not too thin. So it's just the amount of volume that you need. You know some people, when they wear hair, it's so thin. And some of us, we wear hair, sometimes when we make our wigs, it's so full. I like really full hair, but sometimes, you know, when it's too full like that, it takes away the beauty. But this one, it's just the right amount. So if you want to create this look for yourself, you want to wear this bob wig, stellyhair.com is your plug. Check my description box and I'll put a link here. There's discount as well. You can shop yours. Their, their hair is really, really affordable. It's 100% human hair, well made, and they last very, very long. So check my description box and the first comment here and shop yours at sterlyhair.com. Sterly. That's it. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you in my next one. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. And ladies and even brothers, shop this for your wife. Give it to her as a present. Surprise her. Yeah? I'm sure she'll be very happy. Yeah? Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you. Have a nice day. Speak soon. Bye-bye.